What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Damian Cryer. I hope each and every one of you guys is having a wonderful, wonderful, amazing, and blessed day today. And I can tell you guys right now, even though I'm hot, it's burning up. I've been sweating. I am doing great, man. Just, uh, you know, I'm settling into the new life, trying to get adjusted to the new changes and all that good stuff. Y'all know how it is when you move from a different house to a different house or a different apartment to a different apartment, you got to adapt. You got to adapt to your scenery, your surroundings. However, this is one of those situations where I didn't just move from one apartment to a new one. A different one. I moved from one state to a different state. So, you know, it's a lot of adjustments trying to get used to the living area, uh, the neighbors, um, the roads and the traffic. And here in Houston, I don't know if, if a lot of you guys know if you haven't been up this way yet, or I'm sorry, down this way yet, but it's a lot of road construction in Houston. I mean a lot. So everywhere you go, you have to use, well, everywhere I go, I have to use a GPS because I'm not used to my surroundings. And my kids have been in Houston for about two years now, and they still use a GPS whenever they're driving. So it's like, you want to have your music on in your car, and you want to be able to Bluetooth it from your phone, but you can't really Bluetooth it from your phone because you're using your GPS. Now, I think when I get to a point where I've been here for a few months, and I'm adjusted to my routine as far as the stores and stuff. I won't really be using my GPS as much unless I go into like Houston or something like that, uh, which is like 30 minutes away from me. So hopefully I don't have to go into Houston a lot because I don't like driving through Houston because coming back is always so hard. The traffic is just so extremely heavy. So anyway, guys, today I have another taste test review. This one right here is going to be a little bit different than the other uh, taste test reviews because there's no food involved. This one is called the Sontic Reaper Margarita Drink. I'll repeat that again. Sontic Reaper Margarita Drink. Now, I'm not for sure why they call it a Reaper because the last thing I ate that had the word Reaper on it was a Hot Reaper Chip. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Actually, it looks like a margarita. I'm going to try to hold this up for you guys to see it. It's, it's not as slush as it was earlier, um, but it still has a lot of slush on it. So that's probably why they call it a slushy margarita reaper. Now, this doesn't have alcohol in it. So I believe my opinion was they had to add in the words sonic reaper margarita drink because it's not alcoholic so they cannot actually just call it a margarita because they could obviously get in trouble for selling alcohol at a restaurant like that sonic so it's non-alcoholic beverage so anyone out there or the parents who's watching this video that might want your kids to try this um, even though it says margarita it's actually non-alcoholic so it's safe for the kids to drink if you want your kids to try this uh, drink in a video or a challenge or something. So I don't really know much about this drink right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Google it for you guys. That way before I do the taste test of this, let you guys know what's all in this drink um, before I actually do the taste. That way you guys get a better understanding of exactly what it is I'm about to taste. So hopefully I can go on Google and find out some information about it and read it to you guys before I actually taste it. Um, kind of give you guys like a small experience of exactly what it is that I'm tasting. Uh, let's see here. Sonic. Reaper. Reaper slush. Oh, they call it. Oh, okay, here it is. Sonic Reaper Margarita. Y'all know I got to put my old man bifocals on. So this is what it looks like on the Sonic um, website, which we know it does not look like that because they don't put it in a glass for us. It's actually in a styrofoam cup. So on their website, it says June 28th of uh, 2019, the summer slush line of feature strawberry, daiquiri, pina colada, and my personal favorite, the Reaper Spicy Margarita. According to Sonic, the slush is blended with real Carolina Reaper peppers. Oh my God. Listen to this, guys. Oh, I got to repeat that again. 
It says, the slush is blended with real Carolina Reaper peppers, which, FYI, I'm assuming it's for your information, is the world's hottest chili pepper. It's got sweet fruit flavor, but you know what? I'm going to stop reading right there. That right there says enough, man. I, oh, my goodness. So this right here, oh, man. Y'all know what? Now that I'm actually looking at the drink, you know what I noticed? There's black specks on top of the slush, man. I think that's pepper, man, from the Reaper. Yes, it's real peppers. This is crazy. So anyway, I'm going to just jump right in here, man, and try this, man. Pray for me. I don't like hot, spicy stuff. Especially when I've never tasted it before. I don't know what I'm getting into. So here we go. Ah. Ah. Woo! I ain't gonna lie. It has a woo, it has a burn to it. I'm not gonna lie. You don't actually taste this. Oh, oh goodness. You don't actually taste the peppers until you actually swallow it. Oh man. Somebody was high when they invented this drink right here. I ain't gonna lie, man. Woo! Hold on for a second. I still feel the burn. I won't lie, man. This is something off the first sip of it. I know I would never, ever buy this. Ever. Ever. But I promised you guys that we're gonna be doing more food and taste reviews, man. But I'm gonna tell you, this is like that Burger King taco thing. I don't think I would ever eat that again. The Sonic Reaper pepper drink, slushy, whatever they want to call it, is not something that you want to drink in Houston. Because first of all, it's already like 90 degrees every single day. It's actually 90 degree plus every single day here. So this is not something I would want to walk around drinking every day. Speaking of drinks, man, I'm going to change the subject just a tad bit for you guys. So today, I end up going to this gas station because I needed gas in my car. But while I was at the gas station, it was one of those outside mini mart gas stations where you don't really go inside. You kind of just walk up to the window and pay for your gas. But normally when you walk up, they got like all these little stands outside the gas station where they have like Red Bull, Pop, little snacks. But it was one of those situations where they didn't have that. So when I went to the teller, I paid for my gas and I asked them if they sold cold drinks. Now, mind you, this is in one of those enclosed-in gas station stands. He said we have bottled water, but it's warm. Exactly. Y'all see the look on my face. They had bottled water, but it was warm. Now, mind you, we are in Texas. It's 90-plus degrees every single day. What type of gas station do you go to in Texas and they sell warm water? That's an... I mean... To me, it didn't make sense. So I actually looked at the guy today and I'm like, you know, I thought he was pranking me or, or just joking me, you know, just joking around or something. But he looked at me and actually holding a bottle through the glass like, sir, you want me to scan it? And I'm looking at him like waiting for him to bust out laughing at me because I was literally sweating a little bit because there was people in front of me. So I had to stand back there and, you know, kind of waiting. While I was waiting, it was really hot because some lady in front of me was counting out change. So it got hotter and hotter as the seconds went past. So I actually thought he was playing with me, but the gas station sold warm water. Now, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say to something like that. Okay. Warm water at a gas station, really? I mean, so I ended up buying the energy shot because that had to be a lot better than warm water. You know the little, the little five hour energy drink shots, which I really didn't want to do that because I didn't want the energy drinks in me, but I needed something wet to, to just swallow down because it was so hot. But that was just unbelievable to go somewhere and they not sell any type of cold beverage. And the only thing that they can offer you in 90 degree weather is warm water. That's like going to a swimming pool in the summertime, but the water is boiling hot. I mean, are you gonna really pay for your kids to get in boiling hot water while it's 90 degrees? Absolutely not. But anyway, guys, I thank you guys for watching this video. I wanna just do this Sonic Margarita Reaper slushy drink and i'm gonna tell you there's no way i'm taking another sip of it it's going down the sink also guys leave me a comment after this video and let me know if you want the home tour tomorrow or in the next video um leave me a comment after this video also today's notification shots out go to k and a squad 
KNA Squad, you've been just shouted out on the Damien Cryer channel. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you have not subscribed to D. Lowry channel, subscribe to her channel. That's D. Lowry, D E E L O W E R Y. Go check her out over there. Leave her a comment, man. Check out some of her videos, some of her uh, older videos, some of her music, man. Um, if you're not subscribed to both channels, man, go ahead and subscribe to both channels, man. We got them bangers coming for you, man. Um, we just getting situated, so we got that coming for you guys here real soonly. But if you guys want that home tour video, comment in this video, after the video. Like, subscribe, share the video. I love you guys. My email, black underscore D-A-C-2 at yahoo.com. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.